so much hard I'm burning with fire Can't stop, won't stop till I drop Keep climbing for the top Simmer down, you too loud, people around You can try but I won't stop, won't stop Won't stop Won't stop Won't stop You can try but I won't stop, won't stop I can't be stopped now, I can't stop I can't be stopped now, I can't stop I can't be stopped now, I can't stop You can try but I won't stop, won't stop No more sleep till I rest in peace No excuse till I D.I.E. You too, you too, what's good? It's your boy Trent Bennett Represent Triple L TV And today, I'm about to bring y'all a little short review This review, I did actually back a few months ago And... I was in the indoor range and I feel like the review, eh, it wasn't that good. I feel like I'm wearing my element when I'm outside. So we're going back to the Taurus GS4. Now, before we get this thing started, what do I always say? You need to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because I know a lot of y'all are watching, but you ain't hit that subscribe button. So be sure to do that. And also don't forget, to check out Obsidian Tactics, where you can get all your 2A gear, everything that you need. Be sure to check Obsidian Tactics out. Receive 5% off with discount code Triple TV. Be sure to check them out. Got everything you need. Good stuff. So, let's get this review done, man. This little subcompact is going to be a good one. I've shot it plenty of times, but I want it to be outside again, like I said, to get a better one. Beautiful little handgun. Beautiful. But is it gonna run like I want it to? We about to find out, so let's do this thing. All right, first few shots, y'all. This thing holds 13 rounds in this little sub compact. I love it. Always love power capacity. Get ready to run this thing? Let's see this. It runs, baby. It runs. Woo! That's about as American as apple pie right now. Very nice. Recoil is not that bad. Very accurate. I like the black dot rear sights on it with the front dot. But I look like that gold barrel too. When I first again, when I first saw this, I was like, I wanted it. And the trigger on it is very nice. Now, I've said this before. You take this trigger and you put it on the G3. I think I like the G3. Don't get me wrong. But if you take that trigger, I think that would send that G3 on a whole nother level. So, man, it's running. So we're going to shoot some more, y'all. Let's do it. $160. This bad boy runs, man. I like it. I like it. I feel so much freer being outside than being inside of an indoor range. It's running, y'all. And this is my backup, my little backup um, EDC. Now, everybody know that I carry the Walter PDP. Some people like the Walter PDP, but most people love the Walter PDP. But if I don't want to carry that, I carry this. I haven't had a malfunction in this thing yet. And it's running like I don't know what. Some people compare this to the, the CAP 365 Glock 43. I really haven't shot the CAP 365 that much, so I can't really compare that to this. But my wife used to own the Glock 43. And to me, my personal opinion, me, my opinion, is that this feels a lot better to me. And it looks better too. So, also, it's optics ready. I could put an optic on this thing if I want to. Glock got to catch up with that one sometimes. They're starting to do more MOS stuff, I know, but um, Taurus already was already on it. So, yeah. Let's shoot some more. Also, shout out to Redstone Pun. Those are my boys. That's my guys over there. They take care of me all the time. So, that's why I purchased that GS4 from and plenty of other guns. They always got something for me. So, let's shoot some more. This little 
thing is nice. And just look at the, the texture and everything and just how it looks. It looks like a custom gun at $260. It might be cheaper than this now, but when I bought it, it was $260. It just runs, y'all. And then the way it looks, man, just the looks. Y'all see the, like, the little memory pad? It's a good place to put your finger at. And I think it's actually a good training gun because it can tell people, if, if, you know, if you keep that trigger finger right there until you're ready to shoot. Give some people kind of a reference point. Very good shooter, man. What more can I say? For 260 bucks. Right now, it can run with a lot of different ones that's outside of its class as far as price. But it's doing its thing. Lifetime warranty, I believe, as well. All right, so typically, with smaller firearm subcompacts, usually they're pretty snappy. This one doesn't feel that bad to me. Either it's really not that snappy, or I just got the, you know, the grip of a boss. You know? I don't know. Doing exactly what it needs, though. Exactly what it needs. I will say, I do need to clean this thing. I haven't cleaned it since I got it. But I still haven't had a malfunction yet. Very accurate. Deadly after. I'm happy with it. I think it's a good one. It's very good. So with this being a subcompact gun, it's not made for distance. But I'm gonna shoot something from distance anyway. So let's take it back to 40 yards and let's see what we can hit. All right, y'all. As y'all can see down there, we at about 40 yards right here. Shooting a subcompact, but let's see if I can hit from this distance, all right? No problem. A few times, not bad. I can shoot it from distance. So if you're in the market, for a little subcompact that you don't want to break the bank with. $260 or cheaper than that. Tars GS4. And they have a, ones that's a little bit bigger. I think it's a XL, I can't remember. But this is like the smaller one. It's nice. Can't even lie, I love it. All right, y'all. Final thoughts on this Tars GS4. I'm not gonna make this long. I'm just gonna say that I recommend this. It's a good budget-friendly firearm you can find within that $200 to $250 price range. And it's reliable. It's dirty, as you can see. Very dirty. But it runs. And that trigger is very, very nice. And y'all can see, I ran it. And I ran it pretty fast. If you put that trigger, again, I'll say it again. If you put this trigger on the Tars GS3, then that Tars GS3 would, you know, kill it in this round. So, Tars GS4 good budget friendly firearm check it out if you're looking in the market for something that's you know very reasonable so again i always say this i need y'all to like comment and subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers so be sure to support share these videos and let people know about triple l tv and that's it for this review so again this is your boy trent bennett with triple l tv signing off peace